Hi. You are looking at an Excel, at Excel. You're looking at an Excel screen, um, and we're going to introduce you to four basic functions that will allow you to work towards your Excel certifications and to kind of begin this journey. Um, these are easy functions, but I'm going to walk you through it, and then you can do all, if you are a UTD student and you are working on the Advanced Excel Certification Preparation um, Organization folder, so you're, you're working through these exercises to earn your certification, you will be further along in your path, and you're going to finish some things and have some fun today. So please do this. It might take you less than 20 minutes to finish these little tutorials but we're gonna work with some average max and min. And let's take this data. So here are some stores. Here are their January and February sales. And we need to figure out the total. So we're gonna put in sum, and we'll set the range to get the sum. Now that seems pretty easy. Most people know how to do that. Now let's make the rows static. So we need to carry this information forward, but we definitely need our rows to stay here. And if we didn't make it static, the rows would change. So as, as we dragged it down, um, let me show you how that works. So if we don't have these dollar signs here, and let's say I carry this down, then what happens is here's C2, here's C3. Well, I don't, I need this to cover the right, uh, the right rows. So when, when I make my rows static and I put the dollar sign here, um, but I'm not making the column static, I can do some interesting things. So I can carry this forward here and notice how the column changes. I can carry this down and we have the same number. Okay, well, I can carry this down too. Now, I don't want to, sum is great, sum is a total, but I don't want to have a sum for everything. Let me take away my borders real quick, I'll put, put them back. So I'm going to change, uh, change sum to average. Now that's easy. To get the average, you type in average and you put in your range. So that changes that. Let me change this over here. Um, now I could also carry this since I'm allowing my column to change and I would have the same answer here. So I can take these two out if I want and just I can make this max and I can make and I can carry this over here and that will change because my See how that's, there's D and there's C. Now if I wanted my column to stay static, I would put the dollar sign right before the column. And uh, now I'm gonna do minimum. So the highest number is the maximum, the lowest number is the minimum. So what has been found here, now that I have everything, let me put my border on it again. Um, I found the total of all the sales for the month. So these are the totals for the respective months. Now I found the average. What is the average sales for these months? So I've divided by the total um, number of stores to get this average. And that's different because I have different totals. Now I'm looking for the highest. Obviously Einstein's eggs had the highest this month. And uh, in, in January and in February, who had the highest? Henrietta's hearses. Must have sold a lot of hearses that month. And then for my lowest, five, uh, 452, uh, poor Inigo and his igloos, so low. And then 5,615 and 61 cents, that's for uh, Kelly's keepsakes. So as you can tell, this is pretty easy, pretty straightforward, but it's what we do all the time in business. And I've taught you a few fast and easy ways to drag down um, and actually if you don't want to drag you can do something else you can double click and it will fill in most of the time all the way down so uh, now you'll have to go back and <laughs> put in the correct uh, uh, function but you've learned a little bit and now you can go back to work and get everything else figured out thank you